everyone you welcome back to my channel my name is Becky Setre I'm a registered nurse in the UK and I do videos about care assistants senior carers nursing and anything you like to know whilst you've arrived and you're working in the UK as you are aware a lot of people have traveled from different countries to come and work as senior carers care assistants or domiciliary carers some arrived to no jobs and some have arrived after working for a while their sponsors have lost their sponsorship license so in today's video I'm going to be talking about what happens when your sponsor loses their sponsorship license and if you want to know more about this why not watch the video to the end so I'm going to be talking about what happens if your sponsors license has been taken away from them or if their license is suspended or if their job or the company has been taken over by another company or if they have not renewed their sponsorship license um, so that is what we're going to be talking about today so let's go straight into what happens if your employer loses their COS or sponsorship license. So if that happens, your COS or certificate of sponsorship will be cancelled. Your visa would be limited to 60 days or how many days you've got left on your visa. If it is less than 60 days, you would have to apply for a different visa or you switch or you have to leave the UK within the 60 days. If you are involved in a situation which is why your sponsor loses their sponsorship license, then your visa or your, your COS is cancelled straight away. All right, so let's go to the next point whereby what happens if your sponsor's license has been suspended. So the first one is about if they lose their license, you either have to switch you have to find another job and switch or you leave the UK within 60 days. They would normally write to you if your sponsor's license has been taken away from them. So if your sponsor's license has been suspended and you're already in the UK and you haven't started work, you can actually start working. If you're already in the UK and you're already working, you can continue to work. If you've applied to extend your visa whilst you're in UK and your, license, your sponsor's license has been suspended, your visa would also not be processed until your sponsor's uh, suspension, the license suspension is over or they have renewed it. So it's a bit complicated. If you're outside of the UK and your, your UK sponsor's license have been lost or they have lost their sponsorship license if you've applied for a visa your visa will be refused so if you are let's say you're in Ghana you're in Nigeria and your your sponsor has sent you a COS already and you've gone to apply for your visa and then there's they have lost their sponsorship license then your visa will be refused if you already have a visa but you have not yet traveled to the UK, your visa will be canceled and you will not be allowed to travel and enter the UK. So please check before you even travel. Just make sure whoever is sponsoring you for a job in the UK still has a valid sponsorship license. If your sponsor's license is suspended and you have applied for a visa and you are outside of the UK, your visa would actually be put on hold until the end of the suspension. And if you have a visa and you have not yet traveled to the UK, you will actually be contacted by UKVI and immigration to tell you that um, you should wait until the suspension of your sponsor's sponsorship license has been has ended if your sponsor's business has been taken over by another company and 
they don't renew your sponsorship license, your visa will be limited to 60 days. If your new employer does not apply for a sponsorship license within 28 days, you would actually have to leave your job and find another job or switch or you would have to leave the UK. If you are outside the UK and when the company has been taken over and they have not renewed their license, you will not be allowed to enter the UK. And if you travel to the UK, you will not be allowed anyway. So please, my friends and family and viewers, if you're overseas and you've applied for a job to come to the UK as a care assistant, healthcare worker, uh, no healthcare worker, that covers nurses, so that is different, but as care assistant, domiciliary carer, senior carer from overseas, please make sure you check the UK government's website to make sure that that license or your, that sponsor who I believe or may be taking money from you because you would have paid for your your visa because a lot of them have been taking money from people you have to pay although they are not supposed to they do it anyway before you pay money to anyone to recruit you to the UK please make sure you check on the government UK government website to see if they still have their sponsorship license. If you're about to travel to the UK because you've got a care job and you want to come over, make sure as well you check the UK government website to make sure that that sponsor does still have their license intact. Otherwise, you may get to Heathrow Airport or you may get to Gatwick Airport or whichever airport and you might not be allowed in. Can you imagine spending money to buy a ticket? You spent all this money. And also to add, make sure those of you, I know things are hard and things are hard everywhere. But before you come, make sure you do not sell your properties and things to say you're traveling to UK. Um, you might say it might be worth it, but I would say to you, after living here for 21 years, I would say to you, you know, I'll say something differently. Um, yes, there are advantages and disadvantages in traveling to a completely different country. So you have to think about it carefully before you make that decision. If you have come with a partner, let's say wife or husband, if your visa, your sponsor's license has been suspended or they lose their sponsorship license, it means that your partner, your wife or whoever comes with you or your husband who is your dependent, whatever happens to you affects that person as well. So um, just a quick information for you and everyone else we all know because it is um election year in the uk the current tory government is trying hard to show that they are doing something about immigration there was an article recently to say already the plans that they have put in place by stopping students from bringing their dependents and from stopping care workers or care assistants from bringing their dependents have actually already dropped their migration into the uk by 10 percent within the short period which they are happy that they have done um, but the issue is the jobs are still there who is taking these responsibilities i know it's becoming quite difficult to get jobs to come into the uk so those of you who still want to come keep looking and another thing would be you have to think looking at other countries that may be in need of some of the skills that you have anyway i hope this video has been helpful. I'll try and put out a few more videos as I go. Anyway, take care of yourselves and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.